Well, well, hello everyone. We are back in Rome 2. Now, we've got things to consider because if we look at the current map situation, things are going well for us. We've got this little sort of isolated area up here, but we're going to go through. Um, well, those guys are client state anyway, so that's fine. But we're focusing our attention down here. So we're trying to take the Erevaci, the Edetani, and these fellas. Now... We've obviously got multiple armies in that location. We've got multiple armies here. So we've got Mid Migdol and uh, Dimidi here, which I really want to take so I can wipe the Erevaci out, or the Keltiki, sorry. Um, wipe them out completely. And while they're doing that, then we can also then push back against the likes of the Erevaci and the Edetani here. Now you can see over here we've created a wall of forces that essentially are guarding against any attempts by Galatia to sort of have a go at us, which is a possibility that they may not be able to resist. Now we've got this young lady here. At your service. She's just sitting around, just keeping an eye on things. Now. So. We might have to deal with the Punic Rebels, take both of those places as well. But we can do that once we've cleared up those areas and this area here. Now, we've got this army here. He's rather small, and he's got no movement. And this guy is kind of on fast movement, so we can't really do much with him. Now, you can see that the happiness level is quite low. That's because we've taken over these two locations here, and we're rebuilding anything. So... That should, in theory, improve soon. At your command. Now, I'm concerned about leaving this guy. I mean, yeah, we're rebuilding everything there, so that'll be sorted out as well. Although, if you look at it, it's 39 minus 23. What it might be worth doing we is putting that guy into there. That'll reduce the unhappiness At there. And then get this guy out of this stance and put him in the town. Now, the question remains, why are they unhappy? Now, if we do the next turn, we could change that around. But uh, I'm guessing predominantly the region, building, squalor, minus 20 conquer. So it's not going to be too bad on the next turn. It's minus 10, it's going to go up. Okay. So that's a good sign as far as we're concerned. We've got 129 left in the bank. Uh, finances are looking reasonably okay. You can see income is coming in pretty good. The Attica has the lowest happiness for obvious reasons. So what we're going to do is we're going to end the turn. Oh, we've got some skills. We've done a Malekith. Oh, dear. So there's some skills here. Oh, come on. That we need to deal with. So there is this gentleman here. Cultural conversion. Authority and gravitas will give him that. So that should be all of them done. Yes it is. What? Oh, an edict in a controlled province. Ah, maybe now because I control this province... Let us do bread and games and improve the general happiness. Now, what's he up to? So that's on the corner of Denmark area, so that we're fine with that at this current moment. The Galatians are staying put, the Erevati are sniffing around the edges of Spain, which is on the coast of Portugal. And what are those guys up to? They must be up to no good. They're always up to no good. It's just a simple fact with these little buggers. Okay. Natural causes. Quintus Lutatius Catullus has unfortunately snuffed it. So we are going to... Oh god, we, we have no choice. We have to put in one of our own generals. Okay. We'll lose a few senators, but it's not the end of the world. 
So Lusitania is currently a troubled populace. Now, Ibora, we will put in that. And we'll put in a field of Mars. Now, a public forum. Yeah, that would be a good thing to have. So we'll put those in. That will generally improve the situation. Edict issued. We know about that one. Encourage populace in Mauritania. Which is good. Now, obviously, we will need to send some guys down to there. And a construction report. You can see we're building fields of Mars military wharfs over here in Gadira. Now, Kartuba, which is this place here, has the ability to have lots of new toys. So we'll put in a field of Mars and that. Now, let's see. Let's put in a workshop as well. And a suburbia. So we'll start generating lots of wealth there. Which is a good thing. I mean, you know, look at it. I mean, our wealth's still pretty good. I mean, we've got a season of, a reasonable amount of money in the bank. So I'm not really going to complain too much. So. Now. You got these guys over here. Ours is f not so fine. It's going down a little bit there. Let's put that in and that will counteract that. And we'll do that as well. Now here, what we're going to do is in a bossim, we shall create a fishing port. Now it might reduce the public order so we'll also put in a market as well so let's upgrade a civil colonia or a garrison see that takes food adds public order that and it's over here I think it will need to be a garrison now, we can also increase it like that. There we go. Now, let's have a look at this. We have armies. Good, we can create some more armies. Let's do that. Now, where's the best place to raise an army? Don't have anything there. This could be a good spot. So if we were to raise forces, reinstate a legacy there. No, nope, correction. We don't want to do that. We want to recruit. I don't want to reinstate ships. Oh, for God's sake. Never mind, we'll just have to do it the old fashioned way. Raise army. Legatus. Recruit. Right, look at these. Legionary cavalry. Put those in. Put those in. And legionary cohort. Eagle cohort. about all of those we can put in at the moment. Okay. So we'll leave them there for the time being. Which is good. And then obviously we've created a situation where 33% and 
What's his current role? He's a current general, isn't he? Okay, so we secure the promotion for that guy. We'll secure promotion for that guy. So let's have a look at our summary and our politics. Still 33%, so it's still pretty good. So, as matters go, it's not too bad. So, let us consider we hunger here. For battle. The Heralds of Atanasia. At your command. Now. What I want to do, see the only drawback is neither of those guys have any kind of artillery. But then, this is only a minor settlement, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy, send him down there, and we'll take this guy and put him into Tingis in case these guys take advantage of the situation. So those guys are going to go and attack Migdol. Now, these guys here, you can see everything's being rebuilt, which is great. And these guys here, also, everything is in the process of being rebuilt, so it should generally improve the situation. Now, see, I'm wondering... If it's worth sending those guys to attack those guys. So there's 11 there Commander. and 14. Screw it, let's do it. Laying siege to the settlement. So we have the advantage. They're 740 reinforced by 840. Okay. Well, we'll back off them. Retreat! Not really happy with that unless I have a bit more Ready of an advantage. Battle. So what we'll do on the next turn is we'll try and recruit some more people, but looking at this, we're still building the field of Mars, so we can't uh, do anything for a couple of turns, so we'll just leave him here. Now this guy here over in Kartura, he's a much better army. So we're going to move him down to there. Those guys aren't going to be so happy. You have orders. But these guys are going to be even less happy. So you can see there, Kartura there. Ready for and what we might do is move these guys into a borer. So that they just switch their places around and they keep people happy by being in place. So that's not looking too shabby right now. Now if we go into our big overview map, we need to get our spies... Back into country. Same with our other girl as well. And start sniffing around that area. So she's doing all right. But what we do want to do is we would like to get her back up to sort of this area. Uh, to keep an eye on this area just to make sure that they've got nothing planned and they're not building up any large armies that we wouldn't have to repel. Now obviously we've got two full size stacked armies there defending that area there. So there's two there and then there's another one down here as well. Even though it's not a full stack army. We should probably do something about that in the next turn, I reckon. So let's see if we can increase that army. And Brindisium can now be expanded as well. There we go. So 
so when we've got more money, we'll expand Brindisium as well. I have to say, I'm really, really enjoying this campaign. This is probably the most enjoyable campaign I've had on Rome 2 so far. I suppose it's because it hasn't gone horrendously badly. I offer this morsel. Now, like a wolf at the door, perhaps you will go find better hunting somewhere else. Not a chance, matey. It's like they're going to go and sail up my ass, which is not funny. Well, okay, maybe it is funny. But you know what I'm saying. Stay away from my ass. Oh, no. Oh, we've lost one of our girls. Oh, well. Motivated populace in Mauritania. Wonderful, thank you. Encouraged Swabia. Excellent. Constructions have been completed in Tingis for a garrison municipium. Character trait report, respectful, expert administrator. Excellent, that's the kind of thing we're after. Quartermaster's report, holy crap. Down here. We hunger for battle. There's a massive faction destroyed. The Gallic Confederation, yes! Have that, you bitches. Unhappy, who's unhappy? Beatica. Because we've taken people out of there, that's why. But you'll be less unhappy when you get that. Like that, you see. Now you should be happy. God, there's no pleasing some people. Just like you do one thing, and they're not happy, and then they're not happy, and then they're not happy, and you're like, oh my god. Kill me now. Public forum. And... I like that one. So. Let's go twatting. This is a little bit more like it. Oh, they actually have some artillery. How lovely for them. Onager by the looks of it. I don't think it's going to do them a lot of good, to be honest. Start deployment. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to put... Ah, Lester is going to go up there. And we shall have it... Defended by a section of legionary cohorts like that, so they'll stretch across that and protect it. Now, um, legionary cavalry. we'll put the other legionary cavalry over here, like that, so they can sniff around there, and then we'll put the other legionary cavalry there. Actually, no, we'll put them there, and then they can sniff around and try and go in here. Now, missiles awaiting targets. These guys can all stretch along there, like so. And then... The legionary cohorts can go there. And then all of these eagle cohorts can go behind them. With the general at the rear. Actually, you know what? Let's put the general up there. And then we will select the ballistas, make them number one, and put them as explosive rounds. Right. Let the explosions commence. Oh, don't move, you fools. They are men of soft clay, like their walls. We are men of iron purpose. Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. Mm. 
Okay, so they're going to be engaging us rather quickly. That's not so great. So what we're going to do then is we're going to get these horses in to say hello to these fellows. And we're going to get these guys... to move up. Those Iberians? Yes, they are. Little buggers. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Hit them with explosives, please, gentlemen. You guys are supposed to be running, you fools. Today, eh? So we'll get the riders on the beach and have them charge if need be. General No, this way, you fools. Sure, why they wanted to move them, but never mind. So, what we'll do is we'll move these guys forward just a bit more so they can engage the enemy and then get stabbed. Hello, boys. You're about to have a very bad day at the office. No point turning it to us. We have discovered the enemy's hidden unit. Chop, 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 chop. Slice and dice. Good, they're running. So what we might need to do is just bring these guys down. Just a little bit closer. And then put these guys there to protect them. So these guys should be meeting loads and loads of slice and dice spears and horses, oh dear. Get them boys. Loads of dead clippity clops. The enemy general is dead. Good. Kill all of those archers. Here we go. So what we'll also then do is move and we'll also get those guys up there as well. These guys One of our units hold. has used all its ammunition. Okay, let's check on the horses. Horses are running rampant. Excellent, just what we want. Let's bring them down here and hit the back of the archers. has used all its ammunition. And these guys should be literally just rained with spears and missiles and crap. There we go, let's get these guys back out. And we'll get them to capture that point there, I think. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Immense fire, gentlemen. You're now in position. The battle is turning in our favour. Oh, look at that. Get the Iberian skirmishers in there. That's good. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Please 
imaginary cohort. Ballista. Careful, boys. Back, back now. Right, just attack them. They're all dying horribly as they flee. Look at some of these human hedgehogs. Oh, look at that. That's brutal. Warfare in Roman times. It's not nice. Finish them all. Wow. Come kill them all, boys. As many as you can. Those guys can stop firing. Time for a little bit of mincing. And forward. Yeah, you guys can wait. Let the horses do their work. Yeah, you boaties were really effective, weren't you? There we go, they should finish off that lot. There we go, the remainders all ended. I think we can be quite pleased with that, really, under the circumstances. Let's have a look. Um, he deployed more men than us, but he lost a lot. Wow. He lost an awful lot, including his general. So, obviously, it just goes to show better armor, better trained men, stabbed in the head. You know, these are the things that, you know, really ruin a man's day. Occupy. And our boy's increasing in rank, so let's do that now. Uh, let's have a look. Now, he's not married. Let's see, can we get him a, a cheap slattern? Oh, that sounds lovely, doesn't it? Oh, I do like a good cheap slattern. Anyway. He's going to rebuild his numbers. They can get upgraded, but... We don't want to do two upgrading there. Oh, hello. And the reasons why... We hunger for battle. Hmm. Let's see. Now. Oh. Well, well. Hello. Ready for orders. Get some vigilates in there. And we'll upgrade this general there as well. Now. We've now taken this area, which means we need to flatten all their stuff and rebuild it in our own image. So that'll be done in the Lispo. Um, you've got this place here, which is obviously generally improving. It's now at nine. So this guy is quite happy where he stands at the moment. That could be an interesting battle. Now, let's see, because we've got this bunch here. Your Let's send him up. Go and kill him. Honor. Yep, let's have him. Oh, I think we're already at war with them. By the Attack. Of course they ran away straight away. Back to it, you men. Kill them all! 
And we're going to auto because we don't like. There we go. See ya. Kill them all. Good man. Naval traditions rank two. Good stuff. Let's get our boy some formidable marines. There we go. Let's get him back into ours. Okay, so. Looking good. We're now at war. With these guys and these guys. But, you know, I'm not really fussed about that right now. They are the least of my worries. To be completely honest with you. Um... We do need to get these guys here. Down to Migdol. Oh, wow. Yeah, this may not go well for them. Just saying. No particular idea why. Just a general gist, you know, a general sort of... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? A feeling. A hunch. As the old joke goes, it's just a hunchback at the office. And then you cut to the hunchback at the office. Anyway. We shall start deployment as it's dry. So. Let's see what they're going to bring in. So, right up the front... We shall take our Velites. Now, the good thing about them is they can do flaming shots, so we can set fire to their stuffs. Which, to be honest, I would like to be able to do. And then we put the spearmen directly behind them. We'll have legionary cavalry on the flanks. Now, you know I like my flanking cav. And we'll have a general at the back. Right, so, are we going to get there in time? No, we're not. Never mind. What we'll do, though, is we'll get these guys, and we'll move them up and over to the right a little bit. Down this. Right flank. We'll get these horses into there. And we'll have these horses waiting. Now, the only thing you can't do is with that thing, you can't, with the control or the sh uh, shift and up and arrows and left and right arrows, you can't rotate them. At least I'm not aware that you can. Might have to ask uh, young Mr. Lionheart if that's possible, or young Malekith even. Let's get those guys moving faster. Right, so here's our welcoming committee. Now, we may... Need to bring them at speed. back a little bit and then move all of these guys to there like that. And then put the spearmen behind them. And then the Eagle Cohort supporting. So they basically will engage them all. With lots of lovely fiery goodness. Hello boys. A life on the ocean wave is not really what you had in mind, was it gents?
Commence Operation Hosen with Fire. There we go. Hooah, indeed. Get the Viglays to move up. Get the Velites to move back. Get these guys around the side. Like so. Yeah, they're pretty much all going to die horribly, I think. Get in there and slaughter the lot of them, please. <sighs> yeah. Well done, fellas. You did well. You killed two of us. And I think that was a guy who tripped over his laces and stabbed himself in the head. And the other guy, I don't know. Probably fell asleep on his sword or something, I don't know. He bled to death. Back in the chest, and down he goes. Lovely town, we'll take it. And my boys have got a legionary tradition as well. Fantastic, well done, fellas. So we shall have them as formidable fighters, because that's exactly what those boys are. And then we'll upgrade that gentleman to a level two shield. We'll upgrade him and we'll upgrade him. Okay. So that basically means then that this here is one of the few problems remaining for us. Ready for orders. Now we've got a 20 of 20 section there. Now we could conceivably bring this guy down to Kadira. Or possibly Tingus. Now, if we look at... Right, Migdol, of course. Yes. Now, if we bring this guy... Down here. Commander. This guy is still recruiting more. So, we'll bring him down to Kadira first. Now, the idea is that he will go from Kadira to the other location. Now, what's going on over here? Now, they're the Arifachi, and they've got Ready for problems. I want patrols. Right, so they are going to recover everything inside there. These guys are going to move down towards Tingis, and in the last we turn, or the next turn, I should say, we should stop recruiting, and then this army can go and deal with the Horns of Nito. Ooh, neato. And go down here to the likes of Demidi, which is the only settlement remaining, and then push down into this location here. Now, what we could also do is... So these guys go down and sink that Edatani fleet. So we're going to send those boys down there to do a bit of damage on the Edatani. Now, Ars is still good. And we've obviously got these central sections still to deal with. But at the moment, we just need to deal with sort of this area here. I mean, once that's happier then we'll be able to move that army across as well and maybe double team him from two directions which will be entertaining 
But I think that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. Been quite a busy episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Been plenty going on, plenty of battles, plenty of manoeuvring. And so we will see you again next week for more Rome 2. Take care.